you ready for these games to count? Are you getting to that point of camp where you're like, okay, enough, let's get to the games? Eight's a lot, yeah. Eight's yeah. there, but uh, we're, we're in that unique position where guys are still fighting for spots. Yeah. So it, it's not a, I don't think it's a bad thing at this point. You, you see the lineup we're taking. It's To me, it's, it's a group from the American League that earned their spot for this yeah. game. Uh, they put the work in, they tested well, they worked their tails off in camp. And then the guys that uh, that are fighting for spots, real fighting for spots, are are going to be playing tonight. So we'll see. Is this kind of your last hard evaluation? Whereas maybe tomorrow tomorrow night's game is more of a ramp up into the season. Is that how you, is that fair to view it that way? Yeah, it'll be more of an NHL lineup tomorrow for sure. As as far as what it looks like, but still final lineup. I'm not going to say that because it could change too by opening night. So um, we're in that position where there's. There's only so many spots, and there's a lot of guys fighting to get those those spots. Does the uh, the goaltending competition go into practice next week as well? I don't know about practice. Practice is a uh, – I leave that one to Manny as far as what they're doing in practice. Uh, more for games for me, evaluating three games, and if we uh, – that would be more important than the practice part of it. How, I mean, Corby got a little bit of a later start, obviously, with the, the lower body injury. I mean, how, how – is he going to have enough, I guess, uh, time for you to evaluate him versus Elvis? Yeah, I thought he was really good his first start, he's, and he's, we're going to see him again tonight. So um, there's there's time to, to take a look at him for sure. And, I, and it's not like I don't know Corpy. Sure. I mean, corpy has he's been around. He's a, he's a heck of a goalie. What do you thought about Danforth uh, this deep into camp? He's been good. He's been good. I think uh, there's a lot of competition, and, and you know, I don't know if if. Uh, if good gets you in the lineup, but you know he's got another chance to show himself. And again, we've been bumping him back from center to wing too. So you know, I know he's a natural centerman, but um, he may have to play a wing, and he's done that. He's done it with without any pushback. He knows that he's got to be flexible and versatile if he's going to get in our lineup. But I like his energy. He's got he's a he's a smaller stature guy, but he's a solid guy. He's got and he's got really good hands and, and a good engine. So. There's value there, it, you know, and just want to see it again tonight. Yeah, he kind of sticks his nose in there, not afraid mm -hmm. to. Yeah, he doesn't. He's going to the hard areas. I don't think that's an issue. Yeah. Um, I guess that obviously the question is about Sillinger, but just in general, I mean, you've got an 18 year old kid or a kid that's coming right out of the draft, right into the NHL. What kind of things are you looking for away from the ice, but also on the ice to determine if that person is ready physically, psychologically? To play in the men's league, the best league in the world. Yeah, it's you know, and, and, and to me, you see him flatline a little bit his last couple of games, uh, as far as his energy levels. Which I mean, there's other guys same way, but it, it's the brand that he plays. He plays a really hard game. He's not a he, he doesn't rest in his shifts. He doesn't rest in practice. So eventually, it's going to wear him. Now he's he's physically mature for 18. Like he, his body comp is he's ahead of the game there. I think what the most impressive part is is. He's ahead of the game here. He he he's got a lot of pro habits that that you literally you teach guys for years to try and kind of grasp uh, the right time to change, want the puck when you're tired, the the just the understanding of your structure. And and he's already he understands. It. You tell him something, and he starts applying it right away within a game setting. It's not just you know just a practice setting. So he's. His hockey acumen is really good for, for his age. Now, again, you, you pump the brakes because he's 18, and we haven't seen him even in a real NHL game. Like, this is just preseason, and there's a lot of mixing and matching going on. So, you know, we these are all things that we're going to have to weigh with, with him and what's best for him, the organization. You know, that's that's most important. The last thing you want to do is hurt his development as, as a young man. He's a, he's a heck of a hockey player. He's got a really bright future. Is that now? You know, we're going to wait and see here. Even the way he handled himself with Larkin when he and Larkin had the sort of back and mm -hmm. forth along the wall. Uh, did you like the way he handled that? But also, did you feel, because it looked like this to me, that he drew some energy from that the rest of his game? Well, I, I, I love that he's, he, he's not just going to take it. Yeah. You know, it, a lot of, there's a lot of young guys that just kind of take it. And it's like, whoa, okay. he didn't take a step back at all. And, and he shouldn't. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a guy that he plays on his toes. I think he's got a little snarl and some grit to his game. And I think that's going to be his ticket too. He's got the skill. He's got all those those assets. But when you start adding the, you know, we talk a lot about the competitiveness. Yeah. You know, someone's going to push you, push back. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is. It's it's not about fighting. And and again, guys will feel. I think he's a guy that will feed off that. That kind of engages yeah. him, gets him into the game. And whenever you tie emotion to a game, 
most players are better. And I think a guy like that, the more I'm going to watch him, I think the emotion of it is going to really help a guy like that. Did you see it the other night after, after Larkin? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It was, uh, you know, it was funny listening to our bench after. It was, uh, it brought energy to our bench. They, they, they caught the, the attention of the bench. And again, that's something I've been watching too, just the, the dynamic of the bench, the chemistry on the bench. And they were, uh, they were excited for him, just that he didn't take a step back. Do you view Chinikov in a similar light in terms of his age going into the league or because he had an extra year in the KHL last year? I think he's 20 now, so he's a bit older. Yeah. Does that change his scenario a little bit or is it all the same? Well, he's, he's played with men, you know, and so that, that is a different scenario for him, his experiences in being one year ahead in that. So absolutely. And I, again, I, I put him in the same category. Silly, I think he's flatlined the last couple of games and, and – you know, it starts with his legs. If his if his legs don't move, then the, the shot doesn't follow behind. His playmaking doesn't come behind. You, you you can't lose the energy in your game because he's another guy who thinks it. He's he's a different player than Silly how he plays the game, but equally as impressive. I, I've been really impressed with his details and uh, his processing too. You talk to him and he understands really well. It's sometimes it's tougher to communicate what he wants, but he's asked some great questions. And again, he's applying it. And so. Um, I think these young guys, and, and, and it's hard because the season, that's when the grind starts. Like When you're playing 82 games and you're traveling and it's every second night and three and fours and, and, and you start playing against men, and it's, it's taxing on a young man. So, you know, these are decisions we're going to have to make here and, and, and maybe right away, maybe wait into the season. We'll see. But, um, but Chinny's definitely got a little bit more experience with men. I think that helps. Um, but, again, I want to see his energy come back up again. Hey, where are you coming on morning skates? You know where Torts was. What time do I come in? <laughs> will, will there be them uh, in, in some cases? I know Torts wasn't big on them unless they were off the day before. Yes. Are you similar, or how, how do you view that? Yeah, I, I, I don't – to me, you wait, what are you getting out of it? Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't see us doing a ton of them. I think there'll be a, a purpose for them at times. It, it depends where you are. Again, some of it's just situational. And it, from the travel, did we play the night before? Or do we need it? Yeah. Is it an opportunity to just work on special teams? Like, you know, you get limited in your practice time too. When you add the four days off, that, that that's mandatory, and then the schedule, and travel, and all of a sudden you've you've practiced twice in, in two weeks. You don't want to tax them, but there's also some things that you you can get some benefit from working on. So we'll just that'll we'll play it by ear. But I'm 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 on the same. Uh, kind of playing is, is, you know, skating twice in one day, is there a purpose for it? Like, right. that's is energy versus getting on and getting out of bed and doing all that. Like, we'll weigh that. We'll talk with our, our leadership group when we get into it. But I don't see us doing a ton of it. How do you uh, – you mentioned the energy level with Chinnikov and uh, um, Sillinger. This is obviously their first NHL training mm -hmm. camps. You've mentioned before it's a hard training camp. This is a hard training camp for all the guys. Yeah. So how do you weigh, you know, going forward? Uh, I mean, will they bounce back? You know, just from a physical standpoint. Well, oh, I don't. I don't have any doubt they'll bounce back. Energy-wise, it's, it's going to come. I mean, because yeah. they're, they're, they're in shape. It's not like they showed up out of shape and they're they're playing catch up. They they both came prepared. So the the energy will come back, but you know. You see the veteran guys, they, they kind of catch up quicker. You know what I mean? Like we, we went through a real tough stretch early. We kind of plateaued a bit and, 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 and tapered back a bit and then ramped it up again. And you see our, our with the numbers that we had, the energy should still be there in the practices. And, and I think our veteran guys, they kept it there. And, and see some of the young guys, they start to dip. They're trying, but it, it's almost like it's, it's like that wet blanket effect, you know, like they're, they're carrying an extra 10 pounds or a 10 pound weight, you know, and, and not slow by any means, but again, just different than what you saw earlier. So they're, they'll, they'll be fine. They're gonna, they'll bounce back as far as, you know, you just want to see it sooner than later because they're, they're trying to show themselves right now.